Hi, it's Chris Kennedy. I've processed the drum and uh, that was the first use of the jig that I had done on a shell. And <coughs> an uh, uh, alternative way of uh, do doing this would have been to just have the jig attached to one side of the drum, as I show here, and have two drill bushing plates. So with this, with one vertical you know, matching up to the alignment marks, I could have drilled four holes, and that's what I should have done. That would have cut my time in half. Plus, it would also ensure that I have precise vertical alignment between the two lugs. So that's a, that's a good tip, and I'll include two drill bushing plates when anybody buys or rents one of the, the drill... I have to think of the proper name for this. The drill uh, mounting jig gizmo for uh, their R R1 lugs or any other lugs. Um, we'll have to discuss the, the concept of having the split plate and whether or not you will need two of those because I think that's for basically the for snare drum applications where you have a single lug that has two mounting holes. That's a, a double-ended double kind of lug design. All right, thank you.